Hi everybody, welcome back. So today we're gonna to talk about hyperglycemia or high blood sugars. So you're maybe thinking, well, I have diabetes, I have high blood sugars. Well, yes and no. So people with diabetes do tend to have higher blood sugars um, most of the time than people without diabetes. But there is a target range for blood sugars that help to keep you at your healthiest. So we're gonna show those on the slide. And these are different times of day, so you know when you're, when you're fasting, when you wake up in the morning, after your meals, that kind of thing. But remember, these are recommended for most people with type 2 diabetes, not pregnant women and not children. Um, so be sure to talk to your healthcare provider about what your own individual goals are. Um, but the main reason we want to talk about keeping your blood sugars in your target range most of the time, and I say most of the time, because there's a lot of factors that influence blood sugar, um, and no one's going to be in their target range all of the time. Um, but the main reason is to reduce or delay or hopefully even prevent some of the complications that can happen over time um, with really high blood sugars. So along the way, Throughout the sessions, we've talked about a lot of ways to maintain blood sugar levels, such as healthy eating, being physically active, you know, setting those SMART goals to help keep you on your path to your healthiest living. Um, and we are going to have a session on medications at some point in the future with our clinical pharmacist. Um, but high blood sugars can happen. So let's look at some of the common symptoms on the slide of high blood sugar. So the American Diabetes Association defines high blood sugar as anything 250 or above, but depending on what your blood sugars typically are, you may experience um, one or more of the symptoms of hyperglycemia at a slightly lower reading. So, you know, it's very individualized. So high blood sugar for you um, is when you have symptoms um, but you're always going to treat this symptom and not the number. So if you are feeling any of the symptoms of high blood sugar, if it's not 250, you're still going to want to take some action for that. So what do you do? And one of the things I would really like to stress is to please do not just take an extra dose of whatever diabetes medication that you are on without checking with your healthcare provider. Many of the diabetes medications that people with type 2 diabetes use don't start to immediately lower blood sugars. They work in a whole different variety of ways. Um, some of them work on the liver and some of them work in the gut and some of them work in muscle cells and that kind of thing. So if you take an extra, say, metformin, it's not going to help lower that blood sugar anytime soon. Um, and some medications, such as insulin or um, a class of medications called sulfonylureas, and so those are known as glipizide or gliburide or glimepiride. So those can actually lower your blood sugar too much too fast if you take too much of it. And then the next thing you know is you have low blood sugar, which we're going to talk about in the next session. <laughs> um, so do not, please do not take extra doses of your medications without checking with your healthcare provider. But you still need something to be able to do. So the first thing you want to do is stay well hydrated, preferably with water or other um, non-caffeinated um, beverages like tea, um, because high blood sugar is going to um, possibly lead to dehydration. So it's super important to make sure that you're drinking plenty of fluids. And the other thing that you can do to really, really start making an impact on that high blood sugar right away is to get up and move. Um, physical activity, whatever it is. If you can take a 10 to 15 minute walk, if you can walk up and down your stairs, whatever it is, when you move and when muscles are moving, they need more energy and they get that energy from all that glucose or that blood sugar. So when they're moving, they're just sucking it right out of the bloodstream. So that can really start to help reduce high blood sugar levels in the, you know, 
you know, 20 to 30 minutes after you see that it's happening. Um, so once you've gotten your blood sugar back in target range, this is a really good opportunity to take the time and, and see maybe what was going on. Because as I said, there's a lot of factors that can influence um, blood sugar levels. Um, possibly you forgot one of your medications earlier in the day. Maybe you were having a very stressful day or you're coming down with some kind of a bad cold or um, respiratory infection or something because illness and injury can make blood sugars go higher. Um, maybe the meal you ate had more carbohydrates in it than you estimated or you went back for that second serving because it was really delicious. Um, but again, so it's a good idea because it's just a nice learning opportunity. It's not meant to be like, oh, I, you know, I messed up or anything. It's just a learning opportunity to figure out maybe what went wrong. But maybe it's one of those times when you really can't figure out. And again, you're not always going to be able to. Um, but the other thing I would like to say is, um, so especially if you're monitoring your blood sugar levels on a regular basis, if you start to notice that they're running higher than usual for you for a couple of weeks in a row, but everything else is pretty much the same, maybe it's just that there's been a change in the progression of your diabetes, which happens over time. It's very natural in the course of diabetes is that it's going to get a little more challenging over the years. Um, so if you, when you start to see that, don't wait for your next doctor's appointment. Get a hold of us right away so we can start working on it right now instead of, you know, maybe your next appointment's not for a couple months down the road. So make sure that you give us a call and we start doing something about it. Um, but I guess it looks like we're running down for a time for today. But what I want to say is, because um, people tell me this a lot, don't be afraid to check your blood sugars because you, you know or you think it might be high, or hopefully it doesn't stress you out too much. Um, but checking blood sugar is a way to collect data, to collect information about yourself, where your diabetes is, um, so that we can use it to help make really good choices to keep you as healthy as possible or get you back to that healthy place where you were before. Um, it's not a test. Nobody's going to yell at you for it. Um, so please, if you do check your blood sugars, you start to see something, don't, don't keep that inside. Share it with us so that we can all work together. Um, but next time, we are going to talk about hypoglycemia or low blood sugars. Um, and just remember, you got this. We're going to work together. And I'll see you next time.